This is how I set up my MacBook. So first, first go to system settings, some settings, and then I go to switch up keyboard. Oh, not keyboard. Sorry. Go to modifier keys, and then I change control to command, and then command to control. This is because let me just show you the default option let me show you again so this is a default option right here I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen a mac keyboard before but command key is control and windows so essentially if you want to do command control c copy and then control p to paste you have to do the same thing on mac is command c and then command p paste and then i also call it dock automatically yeah hide a dock show a dock and then i change the size to about this big and then my vacation what this does is that you hover over like this you see how it does that thing so it's like easier to click on it and then you turn on minimize windows into application icon icon so it cleans it up more oh yeah to stop this thing in the middle like splitting it up you just go to system settings and then you also i forgot to unclick unclick this and it's not going to be split down the middle anymore wallpaper choose already added it so this one and then I go to screen shape, on oh, screen settings, never. You can do this if you want. Message. Okay. Clean up all this stuff from, from the dock. So remove from dock. And then just remove and delete random apps that you do not need. Like you do not, do, you do not need free phone. You just keep the essentials in the dock. See how much cleaner it is now. And then next, uh, I'm gonna go do some apps I download. First app I download is Hidden Bar. Hidden Bar on a Mac App Store. Download this, open it. And what this does is that you just start Hidden Bar and lock in. You have to hold down. Since you, if you follow my steps, you have to um, you have to hold down Control, and then it drags it all the way to the other side like this. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, now now it's working. But you see how it's hit, it hides it. You see, it's so much cleaner now. If you want access to the things, you just press this, and then it closes it. For some things, you can't hide, like of course the screen sharing thing, like this icon, you can't hide it. But everything else, you can basically hide it except for the control center. And then, yeah, that's that's the first app. Next app I download is on tab. Let's do download, open, move the applications. Okay, once you're done with that, open all tabbing. Okay, this essentially brings, uh, what's it called? Uh, alt tab to Windows. Not, fuck, I'm retarded. Alt tab from Windows to Mac. Wait, wait, change this to command. So it's easier for your fingers. And then once you do this, it basically is the is a one is basically the windows alt tab on mac next is alfred just get allow okay so this is essentially a spotlight on mac but on steroids it likes way better so you can just uh Figure it to how you like it. I like using command command space for this command space and then next that is how it looks like normally you can also make it dark or you can make it like this too make it dark nice and then you just exit out of that and then whenever you, you press command space you just search up whatever like five Just allow it have a file, so like search all your files and all that stuff. You can just do five plus five, and then it does all the math. And you can also do all tall, it's kind of hard. Stuff, so. And then it searches the things up for you. Pretty good. I don't much, I think Spotlight does the same thing, but Alfred 5 it just does everything like way better. And I'm pretty sure it does more more features as well. And next, I want to download uh, is Bulk Cleaner. Oh yeah, this is what it is. App Cleaner. 
Okay, and then you can just go to your applications folders like this, like anything you don't want. Anything you don't want, let's say you don't want, you don't want the vision resolve anymore, you just drop it, and then it removes everything. Allow it first, and then you can go into password. And then you saw that it deletes everything from the applications. And it and then it just removes to the bench. It's as easy as that. And then the last app I download after that is This is it. Just download this and open it. And open settings. Allow it. Push ID. Then reopen. Okay, right now start up. Set up hotkeys. So, hotkeys that I want is what I do is I just do the same thing on Windows. So, I just do Command S. Command Shift S. So, what that does is if I press that, Command Shift S, and then this opens up this, that, and then you can do, you can edit it, copy it, save it, and then you can. OCR or QR it and then you can pin it and then you can do you can drag it to the side and all that stuff. Alright, last app I want to download is called Stats Mac. And then what this does is that uh, how you download it is that you do, it's a DMV and then you just do the same process I did before, like I showed it before, and then it shows you all this stats about your computer, RAM, SSD, and it even shows you the battery and all that stuff. So this is what it looks like after you do the lock screen message. As you can see, since Fortune Fail was the bold and I disabled the the login thing stuff, so you can just use your touch ID and just open it. And how it looks like when it's opened. The dock is very clean that and there's nothing on the desktop and the bar is hidden like this pretty nice that's it